Do you know there is a shortage of graphic cards in the market? The automobile sector isn't able to meet the demand and the price of clothing is going up and up. Now all these three events might seem unrelated, but they've all been caused due to some or the other disruption in the supply chain. In case of graphic cards, there is a sudden increase in demand due to crypto mining and gaming. In case of automobile sector, well, there is a microchip shortage in the world. And in case of clothing, well, due to uh, the shortage of coal in India and the increase in prices of colors and chemicals has led to the increase in clothing overall. That's why supply chain is very important. It governs all of life. It decides what products are available and at what cost. So in this video, we're going to deep dive into supply chain by picking one of the best and the more biggest supply chain startups or logic logistics startups in India, which is Dilip. Hi everyone, I'm Gaurav Gyanchandani, a SIBM Pune graduate and the founder of Edovideo. Welcome to the fifth episode of Know Your Company series. This is a series where we break down different companies to understand how do they work, how do they function and much more. The company that we'll be discussing today is Delivery. Now, the video will be divided into five parts. We'll start off from introduction, then we'll jump in right uh, at business model to understand more about how the company makes money, different models and so forth. Then we'll look at the competition, who are they competing with, what is the competition landscape like, then we'll jump into hiring practices where you can uh, learn a thing or two about how you can get to work with the company. And lastly, we'll cover some controversies or criticism surrounding the company. So let's start with the intro. Delivery is a supply chain company providing logistic services like transportation, warehousing, order fulfillment, last mile delivery, payment collection, and much more. They majorly assist e-commerce players in India, uh, be it B2B, B2C, and even C2C. The company is currently estimated to be valued at two to three billion dollars and is also aiming for an IPO very soon. Now, the company was started way back in 2011 by Sahil, Mohit, Bhavesh, Suraj and Kapil. The goal was to reduce the inefficiencies of supply chain in India. Now, when they started, they started focusing on three things. First, faster delivery, how to get a product from point A to point B as fast as possible. Second, building transparency so that the merchant and the buyer both know where the shipment is at any given point of time. And third, cash management. Now, in the early e-commerce days, most of the orders were cash on delivery and the logistic company used to collect cash. Then they used to take up to 30 days to remit the cash back to the e-commerce companies. And then e-commerce companies further took 15 to 20 days to remit it back to merchants. Now, in case you were a small merchant, your cash flow cycle was now 45 to 60 days. And that was also one of the problems delivery started focusing on to solve as soon as possible. In 2012, the company was processing roughly 50,000 orders per month. By 2015, that is in three years, they built over a capacity to process 1.2 million shipments a day. Now, some of their biggest clients are Flipkart, Snapdeal, Amazon, eBay, Mintra, Healthcard, Paytm Mall, and much more. Now, let's look at the financials. The company's revenue for financial year 2021 was 3700 crores. The revenue has actually grown from 1700 crores in financial year 19 to 2900 crore in financial year 20 to all the way up to 3700 crores by financial year 2020. If you observe closely, you will see that the revenues have significantly gone up during the COVID period when the country was under lockdown. While companies like Swiggy, Ola, Uber, Zomato, Licious, Big Basket had to lay off hundreds, not if thousands of their employees. Delivery had zero layoffs. They even did their annual appraisal in April with an increment of 7.8%. This also helped the company mitigate a labor crisis when millions of workers were shifting from cities to their hometowns. The company was able to thrive during this period due to their technology stack. Within 48 hours of the lockdown, their system was repurposed to identify essential and non-essential items as well as factor in containment zones. The company was operational in 4500 PIN codes within 48 hours and more than 15,500 PIN codes within a week after the lockdown. There is a very detailed article describing what exactly delivery did during COVID. I'll highly recommend the article as it also covers how data is changing the entire supply chain industry. The link is in the description. If you look at other figures, the company has over 40,000 plus employees serves over 17,000 plus PIN codes and has delivered more than 1 billion shipments till now. 
Now let's understand the business model. In the logistics world, especially transportation of goods, all companies are essentially providing the same basic service, transportation of goods from point A to point B effectively. And for this, they charge a fee and that's how they make money. But this isn't as simple as it sounds. There are much more depth and much more services that a company offers. Now, here are some of the services that delivery offers. Here's a look. The first is direct parcel delivery, where you and I can actually send parcels to each other. Delivery will pick up the parcel from my doorstep and deliver it to yours. And for this, they will charge a small fee depending on the distance and on the size of the package. The second service is fulfillment service. Now, this is majorly done for B2B businesses where uh, businesses or essentially merchants and sellers can utilize deliveries distribution network to ship products directly to their consumers. So for example, if you order a kick-ass t-shirt from Soul Store, then Soul Store will pay a small fee to delivery to get the product shipped to you at your doorstep. The third is freight services, where uh, consumers like you and I, and even businesses can transport heavy duty goods across India. They have fleets of trucks that they use. Not only that, the company has also used technology to streamline the entire process by building a technological platform that takes care of load matching, pricing, etc. So that no trucks goes empty. Now you may ask why? Well, think about this. An empty truck or a half filled truck is a loss to the company as there is underutilized space which could have been filled. Next up is cross border Deliveries platform integrates global networks and airlines so that businesses can ship globally to and from India. Lastly, they have E2E which is their end-to-end -end supply chain solution. Uh, let's take an example to understand this. Let's say you own a company that sells shoes within India and also outside India. So you ship your products outside India. Now, instead of you going and building your entire distribution network, you can just approach delivery and they will take care of your distribution within India and also outside India. So this is end-to-end -end supply chain solution. Now, I wanna give you one example to help you understand how this process looked like from an e-commerce perspective or from a merchant or a seller perspective. So let's take a simple example. Let's say you order a watch from Amazon. Now you paid thousand rupees for the watch and it got delivered on time. Now let's see what happens behind the scene. Now the seller actually got the watch for 600, which is the seller's cost. Then he lists the watch on Amazon where Amazon takes a commission of let's say hundred rupees. And then the seller adds his or her margin, let's say 200 rupees. And then over top of it, adds a delivery cost, which uh, would have to be paid to the shipping company, let's say also 100 rupees. In this way, you as a customer paid 1000 rupees, but the cost of the product, Amazon's commission, seller's margin and delivery charges are already adjusted in the price. This is a simple example, but things tend to get complicated when we talk about fulfilled by Amazon model or non-fulfilled by Amazon. Uh, but let's leave it at that. Now, while we are on the topic of Amazon, we recently did a video on Amazon breaking down their entire business model. Fun fact, did you know that Amazon has their own gaming studio? Make sure to check out the video to understand how Amazon makes money, what is their business model and how you can get to work with the company. I will leave the link in the description. Now let's come back to delivery. As we all know, delivery is valued more than some of the biggest traditional logistics players in India. This is because delivery is tech driven. There are teams of data scientists sitting in delivery working together to build a solid data model uh, using AI and ML. Now it begs the question, why a data model is needed in supply chain? Let's take an example. Let's say you want delivery to ship a bottle of shampoo. Just based on this information, the delivery's data model can understand the type of package, potential size, volume, and figure out the ideal mode of delivery. The system can also complete incomplete addresses uh, figure out what should be the ideal mode of last mile delivery. Should it be a van? Should it be a bike? Basis, the potential weight and the size of the package. And also take into account weather conditions, congestion, uh, timings, uh, stress at different facilities to figure out what is the ideal time to deliver that product. All of this helps the business reduce damages in transit, reduce the overall cost and deliver the products in time in the fewest attempt possible, thus adding both to top line and bottom line. And that's why a data model is now so crucial for any supply chain company across the globe. Now to expand further, delivery is also known to acquire different startups. 
For example, in 2013, Delivery acquired Ghar Pay's cash collection business, and in 2021, they acquired Spot On Logistics for 235 million dollars and started a Prima Seller for an undisclosed sum. Now, before we jump to the next section, I have an interesting question for you. Do you think drone delivery is the future? And if yes, how many years do you think it's going to take for us to actually get our packages delivered by drones? Do leave your answer in the comment section below. I would love to know your thoughts. Now let's move to the next section: competition. Now we can divide deliveries competition into two parts: new age logistics startups and established logistic players. Here are the list of both. In terms of revenue and scale, delivery is closely competing with Bluedart. Now, if you look at the revenues, delivery has slowly and steadily surpassed Bluedart in terms of revenue from financial year 2019 to financial year 2020. It was recently also reported that delivery was in talks with Gati and Bluedart to acquire their B2B operations. I hope this sounds interesting so far. Now, let's jump to the next section to see how Q can work with delivery. Delivery has started directly hiring from MBA campuses for their management position. The company has been also hiring for data science and tech positions. The company also recently launched their campus ambassador program, which was open for engineering campuses, uh, undergraduate campuses, and even MBA campuses. Now, if you want to know more about the company's value, you can check out the career page. The company embraces values like boldness, empathy, customer experience, and people driven. These values would give you a general idea about the kind of competencies the company is looking for. Again, this is not the actual list, but a good starting point. To help you further, Altuni and Inside IM has something special for you. Altuni, in association with SP Gen, has come up with a certification program in supply chain management, where you get to also work on live project and get a chance to interview with e-commerce express at the end of the program. The curriculum is crafted and taught by SP Gen faculty, and you will also get a SP Gen executive alumni status. Now, if you're interested, I will leave the link in the description below. You can check that out. Now it's time for the bonus section. In this section, I talk about some of the lesser known facts about the company. The first is Delivery Innovation Lab. Delivery has partnered up with Fresi to launch an innovation lab to help and assist emerging logistics startups. Second is Delivery Direct, where you and I can actually send parcels to each other, which is C to C commerce, customer to customer. The third one is drone delivery. Delivery has partnered up and Spice Express signed a MOU to build drone delivery solutions for India. Spice Express is the largest air cargo carrier in India. The drone delivery technology will be tested for use cases like environmental monitoring, delivery of critical medical services, uh, emergency services, and delivery of goods. Now let's go to the last section. Now let's look at some of the controversies and criticisms related to the company. The first up is a legal battle. Recently, Delivery was in a legal battle with Treasure Ways Ventures. Delivery alleged that Treasure Ways Ventures used a deceptively similar trademark that is Deliver E. Apart from this, one of the common criticism the company face is regarding their service. Now, if you go and look up online, you will see a lot of complaints regarding issues like delay in deliveries and product misplacements. Now, this is not something new uh, in the logistics industry. Uh, this is something that nearly all logistic company face. A good thing is that their Twitter account is very active in resolving customer issues. I hope now you have a clearer picture about delivery as a company. I hope you enjoyed our analysis. We have done similar analysis on companies like HUL, ITC, Amazon, and McKinsey. I will leave the links in the description below. To help you further, I'll collate more resources. Uh, articles and videos around delivery and supply chain as an industry, and I will leave the links in the description. Now, if you like the video till here, make sure to drop us a like and also subscribe to see more such content. This is Gaurav Ganchanani, and I'll see you. Take care.